seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yo, what's going on, family? This is CEO, Brother Henry. I'm back with my lovely co-host for the GPS podcast, Grow Your Passion into Success, where we give you the roadmap. Talk to him today, sis. Talk to him. Why are you going to be sis? That's sus, as the children would say. You not call me that. What you want me to call you? As my co-host, what can I call you? You can call me Bay. Bay. Like Baylo, that's DG guy. <laughs> no. That's for my Smack fans out there. You can call me. What else do you call me? You call me Kiki. Kiki. That's Kiki, y'all. Kiki. <laughs> do you love? No, not like that. Oh my bad. Never mind. Hey, you can call me. I don't know. I have more pet names for you than you have for me, actually. What you mean by pet name? Just off topic. We got a topic for y'all today. I'm about to get into it. But I'm, I'm interested, huh? What you mean? So, for example. Like I'm a pet to you? Like that's it? No. Like I'm just something you just put on a leash and walk around? That's what you're saying? Let's just do a compare and contrast. Okay. For every one that I come up with, let's see if you come up with. Okay. You have to be honest, though. You can't, like, make up. Oh, how you been right honest last episode when you was hating? No. Go yeah. back and watch that last episode, y'all. I just want y'all to know there's some untruths in that episode, but I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna put nobody on blast. Go ahead. I can tell you right now. Okay. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna put you on blast like that, brother. Since you. Since you anyway, y'all. Uh, <laughs> we got an episode planned for y'all today. I, where, I thought we were comparing pet names. I don't really have pet names. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's my point. I'm just Keyshawn to you. That's I, true. I don't get to be. Nothing because special. ladies, I need you to know, I treat my wife with dignity as a woman of God, only reads the Bible and meditates every day. Oh my God. And that's how a woman should be respected. And that's how it should look. You can respect a woman. Yeah. She can be, um, darling. Darling. I don't, I don't get a Eminem darling. Eminem had this song called My Darling. That's great. I don't ever want you that's to great. be my darling. When I do that, I hate when you just randomly start rapping. I'm saying that's M right there though. He caught, I caught the spirit, the Eminem spirit. Hey, yeah. I feel you. I'm, I'm, just a bunch of Eminem fans you are. Nah, that's not true. But anyway, keep going. Okay, so I call you Honey Bear. Honey Bear. Yes. Okay. okay. What you so, then I call you Keith. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you do call me Keekifer, which is where the name of the school came from. Right, right, that, right. That, that, you did call right. me that. But you don't, it's, it hasn't been consistent. It hasn't been like a thing. Uh, I'm a, hey, it was a thing I'm before a thing Honeymoon, and then it just popped back up when we wanted to start a business. I'm gonna think of some names to call her, y'all. <laughs> so as we develop the podcast more and more, I'm gonna have some different names. Hopefully, to call it's like something Google. similar to um, Boo Thing. I, I be saying that about your Boo Thing. No, no, no. I call you that. Don't take uh, my name. That's what you call me. Yeah. Oh, I thought someone called you. My bad. Um, I be like, um, I be like, Yo, Shawty, woo woo. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo. From where? Like from, from the, from the from bedroom, bedroom in the back to, to the front row. Again. Shawty. Again. I'm barefoot and pregnant in the kitchen. You yelling out shots. No, I'm just happy running that game. You know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot of games you're running. Uh, anyway, y'all, we gotta get to this episode. By all right. means, brother. Today we talking about is it a good idea or bad idea to go into business with your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, man, woman, whatever, you, whatever your situation ship is. Is it a good idea or bad idea to go into business with that person? What you think? She fronting. <laughs> well, what exactly am I fronting about? Just what you think about it. I don't know. Um, obviously, I think it's a good idea. I went into business with my situationship spouse, man, guy, man, friend. Um, I mean, then that's the extent of it. I'm just, okay. So here's my here's the thing. Here's what people say. Although, okay, you're right. Go ahead. I'll be cutting you off. I'm sorry. It's cool. Everybody, now you got it on camera. Now, so now you can prove that I'll be cutting you off. I got facts. I got witnesses. I got camera. You feel? When it hits YouTube, they go like in our situation ship. We don't have us. We've been married for 16 years. Right? We don't have a situation ship. See, all right, let me explain something to y'all. Okay, when y'all watch this podcast, my wife don't really be on the internet, right? So she don't, be on, she don't really be on social media. Googling stuff? So stuff be new to her that y'all like. Why is she? Because she never seen it. Like she don't know what's trending. She don't right, know. Right, right. Like if you say hashtag something, she don't like. Yo, I I I eat hash browns for breakfast. Like she don't understand. <laughs> So we're trying to bring so her to the podcast to like so upgrade you saying her that game. So relationship is old news? Because it sounds new to me. It's pretty cool. It's like a clever play on words. I like it. So like I said, y'all, she don't really be on online. So y'all got to help her, okay? Matter of fact, go in the comments no, and seriously. just update her on the newest things, like trends, things that's happening. Like it's this thing called TikTok she probably never heard of before. Put her up on TikTok, y'all, all right? Let her get a TikTok set up. We're going to 
let her set up a TikTok and run her TikTok up a few thousand followers. We're gonna help her out. All right? I, I, I just fucked you. Thanks. What you want your TikTok to be called? Well, I don't even know how to use TikTok, so I'm not sure what I want to call it. You could just do your um, all the old school dances from the 80s you grew up doing. I don't know how to dance one. All right, y'all, so we're going to get into the topic today. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to get into this topic. All right, I'm going to tell y'all why we chose this topic. Because people say, if you spend too much time with your like boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever the case may be, like, if y'all together all the time, it's going to ruin your relationship. You ever heard that? I have. People say, like, if y'all together 24-7, like, you can't, it's going to ruin your relationship. So if you go into business. Just business with that person doesn't mean you have to be under them 24-7 either. Now, you don't gotta be under them, but I mean, if y'all are together. Or around them, or near them, or with them. Like, all right, so I'm gonna give y'all some, you know, for me, right? For me, being in business is cool sometimes, right? But like, as a, if you're in a relationship, a natural part of relationships, y'all gonna get into arguments and whatnot. It's interesting, we, we've done these podcasts and like, you say stuff that's really intriguing to me. Like, is I'm it? wondering where this is going. Okay, so, so. I'm like, in the, I'm watching, like, in the audience. Like, you in the audience? Yeah, all right, like, so check this out, y'all, check this out. So. It's cool, like, you know, it's actually, I would, I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna give you like the real science to it, like the Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich, I'm gonna give you all that, but I'm gonna also give you some real life stuff, right? Real life. Let's say like me and my wife own the school, right? Let me tell you what's not cool. We get into an argument. The argument happens at home. Home is not the business, it's at home, so the argument's happening at home. But because I don't know if it's a woman thing or if it's just a my wife thing. Can you not go there, please? Because I don't know. I don't, I'm not married to other I women, so I don't know see, if it's like all see, women do this or it's just my wife. What we don't want yeah. is for me to have to cut you on camera. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Do y'all see what I'm that's, talking that's, about? We don't want do y'all see what I'm talking about? So I'm going to need you to okay, so ease up, killer. I do know this is with my wife. I don't know about all. I'm going to need you to take your GPS okay, listen. and realize that the <laughs> GPS podcast is telling you to slow down. Listen, y'all. Okay. Ease up, killer. Let me give y'all real life scenarios right okay bet boom me and my wife argue at home at home we can argue because it's just we're at home it's not real life scenario it's you're a meanie poo at home oh my god y'all here it goes first of all i'm the sweetest most <laughs> loving kind caring sensitive man you'll ever meet you hear me so we get an argument at home for me i'm like okay now we gotta go to the school where we got children parents we got Fires we gotta put out, we got employees, we got staff, like it's stuff happening all day. But when I get to the school, now I'm like, yo, we gotta kinda transition out of arguing to school mode because now we own the school, like maybe it's a day we gotta teach classes, we gotta help teachers, we gotta something has to be done, mm -hmm. right? It's it's a full scale business. Mm -hmm. And when we get there, not me, but somebody can't drop the argument, right? So, so that somebody that can't drop the argument. Now the argument that started at home is happening. Drop. What you what you gonna drop a mixtape? See what I'm saying? Y'all see the, the physical violence I gotta go through here with this woman? See what I'm talking about? It's all in my shirt. Man. I threw a diamond to you. Anyway. Because you are a diamond in my Oh man. my god. Uh, ever, run that game, y'all. Run that game, right? So anyway, you get to your business, your place of business. She still wanna argue. I'm like, yo, we can't be arguing in front of these people. We gotta run a business, you know? So that's the downside. She like, oh, I don't care about no stupid business. We can shut the whole school down. These children can go home. Like, oh no, they pay tuition. They can't go home. This is a huge operation. We can't just shut down. People lives is at stake. We paying people salaries out here. You know what I'm saying? Whole families depending on us. We can't just shut down because you had an argument. Right, no, I agree with you 100%, which is why that's never happened before. Y'all, this is a true story. This has happened before, many times. Okay? <laughs> wow! Why would you lie on me like that? Why you do that? Listen, y'all. That's why I'm listening. Why so, I, I can't just give y'all all the positive. I gotta just see the real life things that happen when you... Like, but outside of that, though, it's cool. Like, it's cool. I'm gonna tell you. First of all, can, yeah. you, can you be honest, though? Okay, be honest. You're a meanie poo at home. So you... You can't be a meanie poo to your spouse. And then be like, oh, we gotta go to work or we gotta go to the school. So, yeah. But if we didn't own the business, let's say I work for like UPS and let's say you work for the mail post office, we can't argue now. We gotta go to work. Like when you get to work, you gotta go do your job. No, no, no. You don't get fired. No, you're right. You're but you're right. like, you know, wait, fire me. I'm the boss. I'm gonna argue if I wanna argue. It's not true. All the children look up to you, see you arguing, and they like, oh Nobody's my God. Nobody's ever seen me They're like, you were my role model, Keshonda. And now, see what I'm saying? First of all, all the ever, children who's future. Nobody's ever seen me argue with you before. 
Everybody's seeing the show. Ask the children. They never hey, see it. Any children from Kegaverse that's watching this podcast, I need you to go in the comments. And I need you to type in the comments. Have you ever seen us argue before? Never. Have they ever. Watch all the comments go up exactly. tonight. The comments going to be 100 comments so, deep. Sure. I may want to continue the conversation. Argument. Conversation and women. Men understand that when women say conversation, it means argument if you're married. We already understand what that means. Y'all got me? Power to the people. All right, continue on. I was just translating for the people watching that didn't know. They, maybe they're not in a relationship, so they don't know what that means. Anyway, right. I may want to continue the conversation. <coughs> Go ahead, I'm listening. <laughs> However, <laughs> you know, we get to a certain point where the business has to be handled. And we don't have that conversation in front of other people. I'll give you that. You're not going to have a conversation in front of other people. Exactly. That's really good. Argument. In front of yeah, exactly. People. So listen, especially if you're black and doing business, you can't do that in front of your business. Like we already got hard running black owned businesses, and then we just make it worse. Like if I come to your store and it's black owned, I'm trying to support. It. I'm like, yo, I'm here to buy some hush puppies, and you and your woman going at it, and it's, it sound like that new Kendrick Lamar song, and y'all just you know what I'm saying going at it. Like yo, I'm probably just gonna go to McDonald's, fam. Let me, let me just go ahead and get that hash brown from last episode. You feel me? Like I can't even, I can't do it. So you are you saying that? You shouldn't go into business with your boss? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. Oh, I'm just saying. There's a whole I was giving the, I was given the con before I got to the positive. Okay. Because it's way more positive. There's definitely more positives than con. Like, that would right? be like the only con that like, I can think of. True, true, true. That's it's you being a mini poo at home. I, see how it's interpreted? That's not what I was saying. <laughs> but, you know, like, somebody interpreted that wrong. But the only downside is, you know, brothers, don't be a mini poo, and then the, everything's all good. All right. I'm not sure how y'all want to define mini poo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> As a grown man, I just can't bring myself to be like, yo, I was a mini poo. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may have said, I may have said something to hurt her feelings or something insensitive, as women say, but a mini poo, though. You just described mini poo. Hurt, insensitivity, all of those things. Hey, y'all, before we even get to this topic, y'all, just think about marriage, okay? Like, it's, it's a long time, bro. When you say I do, like, it's, it's a long time. Oh, these are the. These are kingdom blasters, don't do that. So what are the positives to being in? Positives, all right, the po- there's a lot more positives, all right? They keep you out of trouble, number one, all right? So here's part of, uh, before I get to Napoleon, I'm gonna mention Napoleon Hill, that's the reason we did this topic, but, so brothers, y'all, this is thing, and I know we live in a city called Rockford. Anybody watching this podcast from a different city, we live in Rockford. Rockford has a big, um, like, factory population. Well, they used to. Now we just they have a dwindling population, but Chrysler, right? What I hear is these things called the Chrysler stories. And what everybody in Chrysler be telling me is like, yo, I got this work wife, I got this work husband. I'm like, yo, break down the work wife to me. They're like, yo, when I'm at, a, I'm at work 12 hours, so the girl who's on the line with me, she kind of like, kind of like my, my wife away from home. And that's cool, but I'm just gonna be honest as a man. Let's go back. That's not cool. No, I'm just saying it's cool. Like, no, but it's, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's like cool. you just went over that like you're what? It's not cool. No, but I'm just, let me explain it though, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's not cool <laughs> Hey, hey. Drop in the comments, is it cool to have a work wife or a work husband or no? It's, or no. But let the people decide. Like, the people I may just say. I decided for them. They, no, the people they, may say. They literally don't have a voice. I just decided the for them. The people may say, yo, work wives, work husbands, that's lit. You feel or me? no. No, <laughs> just let the people decide for themselves. I tell you what. For all the bad sisters out there working in corporate America. Right, they have right. them a nice work husband to okay, take that's care them. of their needs and, you know, satisfy them at work. Okay, well, hey, you know what I'm saying? Yo, brothers, if that's your woman, you got something you got to deal with, you feel me? I ain't got the problem, so you know what I'm saying? It ain't talking to me. I ain't, ain't got to deal with that. Here's what I'm telling you. Okay, so y'all working 12 hours at a shift. You got your work wife, your work husband, and like on lunch break, you're like, yo, let's go get a drink or something. Mm-hmm. So now y'all out, you get a drink. Who goes to get a drink on their lunch break? A lot of people, trust me. I don't know where you work at, but folks, we, if I, if you had to work at a factory for 12 hours, put a box in a screw for 12 hours straight, you're gonna go get lit. On your lunch break, my brother, or after? Before, your after, whenever. Like, I'm gonna have this little water bottle like this, I'm gonna put the Coca-Cola thing on the outside like this, but on the inside, I'm like, yo, fam, I got some of that, that's, woo, that pie out, because I can't, man, folks be, folks be lit at work. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I have them experiences, so. Now you there, you there, y'all talking, you get your work wife, whatever, woo, woo, woo. And when you come home from work, you go straight to bed. You like sleeping a good six, seven, eight hours because you work at a factory job, it's tough on your body. Mm-hmm. And then you wake up, you might see the family for a couple hours, and it's back to the work wife. Mm-hmm. And she's talking that good talk too. If I was your woman, what, don't I got a song? No, I don't know what that song is. But 
She talking that good talk. She all in your ear whispering. Oh, I know so the song. Beautiful. What song is that? Don't even worry about it. Okay, I'm about, to, I'm about to sing it. You feel me? She whispering. So I'm just saying, that could turn into something. I've seen it. Like, and then it goes up at your job. If women show up, tire slash car windows broke out. You know, you know how it is when, when they go up, they go up. And all I'm saying is, what happens is, you kind of grow apart from the person you with because you're not really spending time with them like that. Maybe in your off days. But J. Cole had a song, She Knows, <laughs> which is the truth, right? And all it takes is to see. Like, once, once a woman tells a man an idea, damn, you sexy. She might just be whatever plan, but in a man's she mind, he's like, did she just say I was sexy? She could just say like, lie to you, like, just make some. I'm just saying, all I'm saying is, like, they got this friend zone thing, right? And everybody respects the friend zone, but like if you if you move the goalpost back, like if I'm at first and ten, then all of a sudden she whispers something in my ear. I realize I'm at like second and eight. I'm like, yo, I'm making progress. You feel me? They move with the goalpost closer. Like I might mess around at third and five. I might go for it. You feel me? Sure. Like that's real. But that so, can happen in any. That can happen anywhere at any time. It can. But my point is that. People say that people say that um, if you work together, you grow. If you work together, you get on each other's nerves, and so it's bad. But if you work apart, you have time to yourself, and so since you got time to yourself, it's better for your relationship. And my point is that it's easier to grow apart if you're not together a lot, you know. So it's easier to grow apart than it is to work each other's nerves. That's what you're saying. No, I'm not saying easier or harder. I'm just saying each each circumstance brings its challenge. Mm -hmm. So the challenge, I mean, together, here's the, here's part of the beautiful part about being together. Together, I don't have to tell my wife, like, when we get a W. When we win, she already know what the win is. When we lose, which is tough, especially for men, when you lose, you got to take that L, that long. I remember getting fired from jobs and getting in the car, like, dang. Mm -hmm. The ride home would be five minutes, but it feel like five hours. Like, dang, I got to tell I got fired again. She going to be like, fam, you just got fired from the first five jobs this month. And I'm like, yeah, but... This one wasn't my fault. You know what I'm saying? He probably was, though. See, what had happened was... Yeah, I showed up late. Then I was exactly. slacking on the job. But I ain't gonna lie. All the jobs I got fired from, all 25 that I got fired from, they just wasn't for me. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, I, was born to be, I was born to be an entrepreneur. Job, Me and jobs don't work out well. Like, I'm, hey, listen, y'all. Side note, I tried to do a lot of jobs in my past. I tried telemarketing. I wasn't good at that. I could never make sales. So basically, you're just a bum. Well, no, I'm more like a high class uh, relaxer. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you know? I like to relax in high class situations. However, it, to be high class, you need money. So I had to figure out how can I get money and be a high class relaxer. You know. So the pros to working with your spouse. So the pros of working with your spouse. So now to Napoleon Hill. This is the whole reason we put this episode together. Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich talks about the Mastermind Alliance. And Napoleon Hill said that the strongest was it, mastermind. Was it Think and Grow Rich? It was Think and Grow Rich. Okay. I thought it was. I it was definitely Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill said the strongest mastermind alliance that you can have is with husband and wife. And he talked about Henry Ford and his wife, and he talked about a few other people and their wife. And he said that the strongest mastermind alliance you can have is with husband and wife, and that as a husband and wife mastermind, you can get more accomplished together in one year together than you would get accomplished in seven years by yourself. So that speeds up the game. So check this out. I'm gonna run some game for y'all. If you wanna be a millionaire, and you like, I wanna hit seven figures, I need to hit six figures, I wanna hit high six figures, only seven figures. Approximately three to five years is the time it would take you if you, were just, if you have a spouse going into business with you. Because every year you do business is time seven. So three years in, you 21 years in a game, in three years of work, as long as y'all both stay committed and dedicated, and that's how you get ahead. So people be asking, like, how did y'all able to do a school so quickly and all this other stuff? We have a cheat sheet. Right, right. doing time seven. Because I, I did all the work behind the scenes, and you got to look pretty. That's another benefit, all right? If y'all ever notice, right, outside of this podcast that we just started, y'all see me on a lot of podcasts. You see me all over the place, always talking. I'm like the talking head. But the reality is... If she didn't do a lot of the work behind the scenes, I probably wouldn't be on all those podcasts talking. I appreciate that. Man. Yeah, I'm giving you flowers. These are for you. Thank you, baby. Right now. But I, I got those specifically for you. Appreciate it. I had to give her flowers, y'all. It's true. Like, I'm going to be honest. It's just certain stuff I don't want to do. And some stuff I don't know how to do, but some stuff I just don't want to do. I, I love speaking in public. I've been speaking engagements every day, podcasts, radio, TV interviews. 
But they were like, yo, we got to do this paperwork. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> exactly. Who can I push this off for? What sucker's going to take this? That's when it gets and I'm like, hey, babe. Right? You said, babe? Yeah. Hey, babe. You, uh, can you fill this out for me right quick? She was like, yo, this is 400 pages. I'm like, it's nothing for you. You got to gas them a little bit, right? It's nothing for you, baby. Your hands are so strong when they type, right? You got to give them the compliments. And let them know. Oh, You're the best at this, right? So, I mean, I don't think it's a bad idea. I think it's a great idea. I would encourage couples to go into business together, set your game plan together, go through the struggles together, go through the lows, go to the highs, and go get your bread, you know? I would I would encourage couples too as well. And honestly, I don't think it really matters. Like, uh, married, not married. Like, I don't think that matters. Because, like, our in our society, like, divorce rate is just so high that... True. Because at first I was thinking, like, yeah, you probably don't want to go into business with your boyfriend, but... No, you don't, rate. though. You probably don't, though. But what difference does it make? Like, if... Average people are divorcing after three to five years, and what difference does it make if you same breakup? When yeah. you break up with a boyfriend, you break up with a spouse. You, the point is, you want to have all your paperwork and everything in order, but ultimately, the I'm gonna tell you something. The breakup, I mean, I guess it could hurt more if it's a spouse, but it ain't no as a man. You break up with your spouse. If you go into business with your spouse, understand something. Ain't no breaking up. You gotta make that. I was about to. I was, you gotta make that stuff work. Okay. <laughs> I need y'all to look at Dr. Drake, <laughs> for example, and his wife, okay? I'm not about to, if I put all my life, blood, sweat, energy, and tears into this business, she can't leave with half, y'all. That, listen, but we're going to figure she, out, whatever the problem is, we're going to figure it out. But that's the difference. We're going to sit right here and figure it out because I done worked too hard. But Henry, that's a completely different relationship. That's what I'm saying, if you marry. Like, if it's your boyfriend, then is you rolling the dice? No, but I'm talking about in business. Like, he... So here's the thing, nobody really knows what, how influential she was or what work she put into behind Are oh, you talking about Dr. Dreway? Yeah. I know or she made the beats. Any, I know she went in the gym shooting with him. Or any major superstar or whoever. I mean, she probably was really supportive. The, and was the like, one dude from Amazon. Like, who Jeff knows, Bezos? Who knows what his wife did behind the scenes to help? Yeah, but here's the difference, though. Just because, she left, Bezos, just because she left what have doesn't mean that she didn't... Help. No, Jeff Bezos' wife work. might have helped. I don't know. Most in most That's circumstances, might have helped with the listen, same she might have like raised the children, but she went in the studio like, "Yo, Doctor Dre made nothing but a G thing." Okay, this she had true. nothing to do with nothing but G thing. You feel this me? This is true. However, she went. I'm just saying that was great. But you can't replace. And then we're getting off topic here. But nonetheless, you can't replace the value of the comfort of a woman. For him, like, or, or for mean, his woman, for him, like, according to her, he had a lot of comfort from a lot of women, so it got replaced. Maybe he did, but pretty easy. Her, maybe her comfort provided him with the inspiration to make that beat. So, how do you quantify that? If you like, how do you, you quantify like, that with how much do you make? I don't know. What it is. I'll be honest, that's like a woman's argument. Whatever, dude. No man gonna be like, yo, she was the inspiration that led me to make Dre that. You know what I'm saying? Of course. She led me to say, bow, wow, wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, death rose, and you know what I'm saying? No, it's ancient. That's why. Wow, we're going to school. You can't say I that, bro. Did. The children watching is going to say, yo, isn't she? You're right. I thought I she was an MGT, yo. This, all right, all I'm saying is, right, Jeff Bezos' wife is probably different. She probably was his CLO, more than likely. Like, a lot of power couples, I know the woman and the man in a, in a, in a situation, either the, the woman is the CEO and the man is the CLO behind the scenes, or the man is the CEO, CEO and the woman is the COO, and they're they're locked in. Those are the two people that run your company. I feel you, but Henry, if I if, if I never step outside of our home, no, if, if people don't know me, they can say but the same if, thing. If, if that type of business is different from Doc. Doctor Dre makes beats. If she, if I look, Henry, this, okay, no, no, school, like, no, no. Okay, let me give you this. Let's. This is what the, this is what the judge should have did when they got to court. He should have took an NPC and said, "Dre, you got five minutes. Show me what you did for the last twenty years." Dre would have laid down some tracks that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Then he would took his wife like, "Yo, here's an NPC. Lay down some tracks that's hard." She would have been pushing buttons. It would have been whack. The judge would have been like, "Nah, this is Dre right here." You feel? Me? But you don't know again. So what did she do? Though is my point. I don't know. But ultimately, the point is. You don't know what she did. I don't know. That's nobody knows. That's the whole point. Of but, that's the, but that's the thing. Like you don't know what you just said. I don't want to handle this 400 page paperwork. Here you go. Facts. How facts, many facts. 400 pages of paperwork did Dr. Dre ask her to handle behind the scenes? Maybe she did some paperwork. 
Because I just know the Dre whole, made forgot the about Dre. That's the whole all I connection know. between Dre beats. He didn't just walk up and say, uh, let's make this deal with Dre beats. Somebody had to help with that. Yeah, Jimmy Iv. You know, but you don't know if his wife helped with that. You don't know if his wife helped find the attorney to look over the case. You don't know what she did to help. True, true enough. True enough. I'll give you he that. He made I'll the beat, that. sure, but just like in a movie, like. It's more than just the actor that's on stage. You got a whole production of people behind. That's behind true. The actor I give you that. Helping. So yes, he is out front. Maybe I'm kind of biased because well, the Chronic, but Chronic O One. You know what I'm saying? Eminem, white. Kendrick, The Game, like yeah, sure. Fifty. You know what I'm saying? They have Drake did that. There's a whole production of women behind them. What did she do at the Super Bowl? <laughs> I wish I had something to throw. She didn't do nothing. But, but guess who did football. kill the Super Bowl? Drake did. Anyway, she probably did do some behind the scenes stuff. I'm just playing. I don't know. She so probably, was, she probably was. Maybe she was his CEO. I don't know. It maybe she was. So ultimately, it doesn't matter if you go into. All I'm saying is, in, in any business, the, the reason I'm joking about, but in any business, the CEO and the COO are equals. The COO sure. and the COO don't have like the, one power doesn't trump the other power. You need a CEO and you need a COO. You need somebody that's going to run your business from both ends. The one and the two are pretty much the only one and two in the, the way that they're defined in business that people put the CEO up. But the CEO. Without a COO, his business is on flatline. Like you need them both. So, you know what I'm saying. So, so I did. Uh, should you go into business with your spouse? Absolutely. If it's your spouse, I say yes. If it's your boyfriend, girlfriend, that's tricky. Could be tricky. Because boy, like, like, let's just like. One, I'm lucky I'm not on a dating scene today because I be seeing wild stuff. Like it be stuff that. Like, we, that's a whole other episode. We get into that in like, 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 Nah, it's wilder than that. Like it's it's wild in these streets. You got to hold it down. But I'm saying. I'm, I'm happy to not have to date in today's dating scene because it'd be. I'm happy you're not dating in today's dating scene. I mean, I'll date my wife, That's you know, but that's a safe date. You know, it's like if I got a roll, roll dice drop, you can roll anything one through you can roll anything two through 12, but like, like somebody gave you some dice, like, oh, this dice only got ones all around it, and you gotta take your chance with the other one. Now you went from a one in 12 to, you know what I'm saying, one in six. It's just not the odds not with you. So dating nowadays is wild, and I would just tell entrepreneurs if you're dating somebody and you got a business, you may want to hold off on going into business with somebody you're dating because ain't no guarantee that thing's gonna work. You mess around, find out the person you like is like on some some new stuff. Every time you leave, you like your imagine your security cameras capture that person. He like licking the plates in your house while you're gone. <laughs> you like, oh, fam, man, get that for I don't know. It's just some weird stuff. Like you like, yo, this ain't gonna work out. But you just signed the LLC with this person, and your business just made a hundred thousand dollars. They're like. Uh -huh. We made a hundred thousand. Now you're fifty thousand short because the plate liquor. It's when you in business with the plate liquor. You feel me? You in business with the plate liquor guy, man. Bring yeah. So we gotta wrap this up, man. We gotta get out of here. We gotta wrap this up. So I don't know. People that's watching, y'all, let us know. Go to the comments. Let us know, man. Do you think it's wise to go into business with your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other, your friends? Let us know what you think. Go in the comments. Let us know. And I mean, I think that was decent. I think we gave him a little something, some little sound. It was. GPS podcast, grow your passion to success. We'll help you with the roadmap. Peace. Deuces. You a lame. <laughs> <laughs>